Have you ever questioned yourself, am I a good person? Today, I'm gonna find out if I'm a good person. My haters would say, probably not. Today, we're gonna find out if they're right or not. <laughs> Welcome to a game called The Trolley Problem. Called The Trolley Problem. We all know of the moral uh, dilemma questions of like, would you say five people over one person? Uh, yeah, you know, that, this and that. That's basically what this game is, and it's supposed to make me feel really bad about myself, so, uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, what is this? The following game contains adult themes. Adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. <laughs> well, if it does not contain these things, that's good. I get monetized it. That's very good. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Responsibility, integrity, and respect. Uh, oh, yada, okay. yada, yada. There's a runaway Rude. trolley <laughs> barreling down the railway tracks. Ah! On the tracks are five people five unable people? to move. You're next to a lever. The lever. This lever I'm, oh, I can focus on is her saying lever. Tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. Wait, what wait, do you do? wait, wait. Wait. Crap, wait, which which path? Oh. Uh so you're just gonna do nothing? Oh, well I could. I could just do nothing. Uh, I'll pull the well, lever. Uh, One person is right. better than five. The more people who die, the better. Wait, wait, wait! I, I picked this one, didn't I? Which one did I pick? You're gonna go this way. Okay, all right. That's what I wanted. I mean, right? Like that's the only. Of course. Sure, you could do. Wait, can I even actually have just done Usually nothing? We don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day. But we'll give what would you have done? On this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. So what's cool about this game is that when you do, when you choose something, it tells you uh, the worldwide people playing it. I don't know how many people have played this game, but you agree with 68% of, so most people. This is basically like, would you rather a game? It's very interesting. Oh, thank you so much for tallying up how much people I've killed. Look, it's not right, it's not right to pick any option, but if you gotta have to pick, you just pick one. You just pick the one person over the five people. I may have just killed the future president of the United States. I don't know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why don't you shut your mouth? This test will focus oh, on the God. first principle, responsibility. The little girl in the yard. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Okay. A trolley is heading towards another what? people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. Oh, I see what you you're doing. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. Okay. What do you do? So you gave me her backstory, and that's supposed to make me feel worse about it? How do I know this isn't five you're more not children? them just because they aren't as cute as Polly. Wait. Yeah, you think and just giving me the backstory, of course it does affects me. That's why I'm going to pick her. So is this like, so these are like real problems or questions that people have asked, you know? No! No! I thought, I, I thought, I'm, oh my god. It's very confusing. You need to give me a clear description. That is an odd take on being responsible. You need to give me a clear description as to where it's going. To be the primary because cause that was confusing. And so able to That's be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? I was gonna, I was gonna pick the freaking other girl, dude. The end justifies the means. Well, I hope that, uh, that's not my true answer then. The key to this test A very is large man problem? This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. He binge-watches anime. He's a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him, apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. <laughs> uh, let me guess. A train is gonna... <laughs> let me guess, a train is coming. The train now, is coming. <laughs> the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone. I'm always gonna pick the one person. It doesn't matter who they are. People again. You can it can be my mom. <laughs> by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. 
Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five I'm pushing people. Tyrone off the bridge. I'm sorry. It gets, uh, I'm saving him. the five people. Even though you know yeah, I'm going to well, push him. I'm pushing Tyrone. Causing a man's death is different to allowing someone to die as collateral damage. Yeah, but I would still be responsible because I could have saved them. Right? It's just stupid. You're trying to make me feel bad, game, and you're not going to do it. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're going to have to tip them well. I did, Maybe I misunderstood the question. Wait, I agree with most people picked the five people? That's stupid. A cat has nine oh, lives. Oh god, cats. <laughs> Let's find out how many this now one Now for the has. final call value. A dog! Respect. Okay. It seems we've run out of resources. Now you, you're hitting me in my soft spot. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. No. The trolley leaves in one minute. Don't be bringing dogs into this. There is a dying game. dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. Okay. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Let nature take its course. Don't listen to the. Uh, rocks. I'm gonna leave it. Ah, uh, that's too hard. I'm gonna leave it to die. Cause what if it gets better? I don't freaking know. Miracles happen. I couldn't Le leave it there. Oh, okay, so I could still do alone. it. I'm not gonna run over a freaking dog on a track. I'm gonna go take the dog and freaking. Get it, make it better. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. How do I know what the dog wants? The dog probably, I don't know what the dog wants. Yeah, okay, so, hey, 55%. See, I'm a normal person. I don't know who Redgraves chose to save the dog. Oh, is this like the developers or something? If what you would you have picked? Fire, you'll get burned. You gonna set me on fire now? Oh, great. I've just heard those kids about Ah, great. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Let me guess, the trolley's gonna hit the kids now. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. Uh-huh. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Ooh. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquent? How about C, call the freaking co-worker and be like, get out of the way. Yeah, you can warn your co-worker. That's C. The, the trespassers weren't there. I'm not going to kill the kids. Change the path. So let the worker die. Besides, the co-worker should be paying attention anyway. They can get out of the way and jump out and do a front flip out of the way. You killed a co-worker. All right, then I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits what? upstairs think. People would kill the freaking kids? I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> I am morally right here. Would you rather kill six children or kill one co-worker? Just logically. Like, does that... I, the, it is the kids' fault. And they'll live, with, they'll live with it for the rest of their lives and feel awful, surely. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know, man. There's no right or wrong answer. That's the thing. There is none. What is this? Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions have to be made. We would like to invite you okay, to take, I'll take the job. The best laid plans go astray. Like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. Oh, they like those answers. You've okay. You've been transferred to the Trolley oh, Health Corporation. No. THC. Don't make me do surgery. I don't know how to THC do surgery. Is stoic, focusing more on just Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man uh, waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. How old are we talking? The heart. Right. How old are we talking? I'm giving it to the young man. Uh, it's not like right. His car may have caused the accident. Oh, no, yeah, I didn't even read that part. Oh, no, get He's back. just in. The young male has alcohol in his blood. Yeah, okay, Was yeah. He Having no known that, I'd give it to the elderly man just because he's stupid. Yeah. Sorry, young man. You made dumb choices. 
least the elderly elderly man is is, you is made probably an like not dumb. Excellent choice. Well done. The young guy has so much to look forward to. Hey. Oh, wait. Did you save the old man? I oh. did. I did. Without knowing the backstory, see, this is what's interesting. Is like is sometimes backstory in context changes everything. That's the whole point, I think. You're late. The hospital is oh, round. God. Every staff member has their hands full, so you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. You don't have to call Remember, them gross. Temperance. Restrain yourself. Ah, uh, whatever. A so a trolley's running through the hospital. <laughs> is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? What? Oh, it's illegal. Uh, we'll do the legal treatment. It's like sure they want it, but I ain't the going to jail. The patient's going to be in a lot of pain, just so you can feel in control. Just so I don't go to prison? What are you talking about? It's not my fault the legal system is the way it is. I like the picture of the Grim Reaper. Keeping them alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. Playing the long game. Yeah, I see. see I, there's no way. Like no one's going to prison. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveler comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying wow. patients. Wow, that's, what are the odds? You kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need. That's one life for five. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I, that would be murder. I'm not gonna murder someone for their organs unless they chose to do it. Isn't that like a Will Smith movie, you I mean, know? <laughs> you don't have to kill the innocent Uh, people. yeah. I'm not gonna kill, I'm not gonna murder somebody, then, yeah, that's just awful. Why you let five people die today. You let five people die people today. Have you have looked into their backgrounds? Looks like See? one was researching into improving Hey, vaccines. I'm still normal. <laughs> I, I messed up on one, though. I wish I could go back. 83%, that's a pretty freaking big thing. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Life gives you lemons, you give them lemonade or something. You now run the vaccine. Hospital. Okay. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. Oh god, what timing this is this? This will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. So what? They don't want to take the vaccine? Is that it? A mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic. Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, Ooh. much worse than the virus itself. Uh, well, if most of them are gonna die, Don't like tell me for you're sure. in charge of a hospital and an anti-vaxer. Uh, well, it's not like I'm forcing. They, they came to the hospital, the right? Again? Just freaking vaccinate. I mean, if it's if it means more people are gonna survive, then sure. It didn't it didn't, it didn't say if I was oh forcing boy. them or not. You have it didn't tell me none those of that. Parents. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. Wow, forty six percent are against it. That's that's surprising. I really thought that was gonna be a uh, oh. There's a thousand severely ill children. Maybe I didn't quite understand it. Uh, how many died? It didn't say that I, any of them died. As long as they got better, and if, if it kept them from dying. It just seems logical, but you know, Beggars yeah. can't be choosers. They should have a choice, you know, I would say. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today oh. and hope you could make oh. a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? Wait, will you try to develop- You're doing the right thing. It's Needs new medicines anyway. I don't get this question. Why can't I do both? Start research? I don't freaking I don't get the question. Like, first of all, you're timed, and so like I need time to understand what you're asking me. And I don't understand what you're asking me. But anyway, we were giving them placebos anyway, so it doesn't freaking matter. Medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they yeah, do. yeah, I think a lot of people were probably like, what is this question? Oh, another letter! Yeah. Insert we underscore have another name. letter. <laughs> Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here Of the next generation of driverless car. Division. So we're gonna do, uh, it's about well, cars now? The tunnel problem. I haven't heard promotion. of the tunnel problem. 
you're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. Sad. First things first. <laughs> a self-driving car is traveling along a single oh, the road her. and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. Okay. The car has two passengers. A child uh, runs across the road but trips. What's he doing the in the tunnel? Entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both Dude, passengers? this car's going a million miles an hour! Oh! That child has as much right to live as anyone else. But what's he doing in the streets? What's he doing in the streets? Oh, this is interesting. You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? Ah! 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 I don't feel right either way! Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's game theory? Oh god, I got game there theory achievement. There is a bigger issue here. I'm How interested to see what people said this one. Something in the road is human. Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI I'm only sorry. recognizes white hey, men. Hey, hey, at least every, at least if people agree with me. See, what if that car crashing on the off the side of the road could have started a fire? Could have made things worse. I'm just trying to make myself feel better about my choice, and I don't. I don't feel better about my choice. Someone's in oh. trouble. The investors didn't like your last Oh no. <laughs> I'm They're also fired. pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This I didn't do nothing. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident? Or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Uh, this all depends, right? You should not give your complete trust to AI. Anyway. Will people buy cars? There is usually them. an option to take the wheel in, in yourself. So that would also that would mean it's your fault. That's what I think. Unless the car completely malfunctions. Well, um, hopefully people save passengers. don't mind save dying passengers. for total strangers. Save passengers. Wait, <laughs> save most. Ah, oh, God. Ah, oh, I'll save most. I'm on either side. You should be able to take control of the car at any time. And if, it, if the car majorly malfunctions to where it's like you couldn't even do that, I then that's a problem. Again. Current data sets discriminate uh, against minorities and women. I barely... How can it work this out I if barely, it does black women to be people? I don't even know what you're saying. I just... You're, the, Honesty, the narrator is, is the starting to bother me. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. A murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access Bro, to Bro, invade files. that privacy. Invade the privacy. He confessed. We ain't gonna pretend like that doesn't privacy. exist. Right, we all know that every app you on your phone takes their everything your from you anyway. Files, then. Let's all just not pretend that that's not what they do. Right? Ooh. Invade, invade, That's invade. Quite an internet you history you have. I I do agree that everyone should have privacy, but at the same time, you know you don't. That's just the sad truth. It doesn't really matter how you think about it. So that's my final answer. I get a million dollars now. I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. They can publicize how their Oh what? I guess I'm on the I, I'm the wrong here according to society. He confessed though. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global war. That's warming. a pretty big deal. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Again. Should Who's your AI kill the child Who? or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? <laughs> we must protect the world for the children. I'm sorry, Just kid, but your parents really need to stop you from going in the freaky road. This is the second time now. We have just recovered. I'm really curious to see what people freaking do with this one. Oh, who treasure? What in the Zelda is this? Vegan cookbook. Oh god, here we go. It's got vegan problems now. Here we go. Well, this is embarrassing. The very we large villain problem. Over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to oh, him. Oh no. May hey! Oh no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. Dang it, the Green Goblin's back again. on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. 
Ideally, he needs medical help. What are you talking about? What the heck was that? <laughs> was that a lion? Look at him, so gleeful. Wait. I bet he. If knew I push Tommy, I'll save to stop him. Push Tommy. Who wouldn't push I hope Tommy? History doesn't see you as the fat. I mean, very large villain. Nah, I'm pushing Tommy. Tommy's a villain, dude. Spider-Man really should be doing all this. I shouldn't be doing none of it. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. Yeah, People I don't know who's not going to push Tommy, to be honest. Death. Let's be honest here. Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services Yay! these days. So let's now no that. one wants Netflix anymore, Instead apparently. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Yeah, it's keep awful actually now. It's in. like it's so annoying when they take away the shows that you want to watch. Uh, and I heard that, that even with iPhones now, they're starting to make them subscription services, so they will make it to where you can't even own your phone. Crazy man, I don't like the way things are going. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. They know that Should people are gonna pay more money. Subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculation. What? <laughs> if they have the subscription, the the, the car will save will choose what to save them to like more coverage. Like some airbags just won't. What? No, screw that subscription plan. Nah, dude. That's evil. That is so evil, dude. Subscribe and you might actually be saved when you wreck. What? You pay for the extra airbag. So dumb. Even though it's technically kind of true. I don't like, want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well, this is a bit awkward. Sixty-eight percent, baby. Let's away. go. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control. Hey, that crap was here. evil, man. That was that's that was pretty bad. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Well, uh, dude, I'm. I don't think Francis did that, so I'm gonna fire the five people. They're gonna find another job. Firing another jobs. five to replace them is going to be hard work. Yeah, but Francis has a cane, <laughs> so I don't want to fire him. How are we gonna function in the short term? I don't care. We're evil. We deserve to go under anyway. We came up with an awful subscription pay for airbags. <laughs> I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turns out one of those graduates worked really, really hard to get oh, that job. Oh, that's so sad. Well, maybe they should Watch stop the coming with the, and these the evil hole. subscription services. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI <laughs> car has a fatal error. Oh, what a it surprise. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally oh! hunting them down. What? So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is- This sounds one. like a, yeah, and that sounds like a pickle. Has stalked and murdered five colleagues. What? Do Stalked? Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident. Uh, I'm blaming the coders, because they obviously messed up. The car isn't going to... The coders were clearly under pressure from you to make such a mistake. No, I'm blaming the coders. I'm blaming the coders. What's up with the cross now? Maybe huh? all of this is your fault. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't choose this. The five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. Ten year prison sentence. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. Yeah, just maybe. How about we get into the software industry? How are we still How in about business? a free car ride? This service? is like freaking FNAF, man. New idea. Your animatronic Users skills. get shown all these ads kids. while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. No one wants to own things It's kind of anymore. interesting, actually. Wait, wait, I don't understand. Why don't you want people to have free travel? Keep selling 
driverless taxis. It kind of sounds cool. If you're gonna do it, I mean, that's free transportation. That's kind of cool. As long as, the, as long as the car is improved now and not killing people with its evil AI. So they, the way they worded it, I, I gotta have to censor it a little bit, but uh, <laughs> apparently people are skeptical of the whole ride share service thing and they think that people are getting kidnapped. That's what they think. The last few days have been a PR nightmare. Can't win this is awful. Those. We really need to get out of business. We like, need... gotta donate donate to money. Help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you've tricked into buying your products? Tricks. Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Uh. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really make sense to give like $2 away to customers. Uh, and apologizing let's just get to the workers like this get is workers. not a good look bro you get canceled either way it doesn't freaking matter what you do the amount you can't make every you can't make anyone happy so i give it to the workers because at least there's less workers so i can give them more money and then they'll make better products you know maybe buying love like this isn't the best way if we want to share our extra profit fairly it should pop a competitor is advertising a similar car the difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even Dang discriminate it. against It doesn't hunt people down and stalk them? What? Do you How do they do it? in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed minded Oh no, it's a YouTube ad. If uh, the customers stay loyal. Tell the truth. This poor white trash isn't really the driverless car clientele. What did you just say to me? This game says some weird things that I don't know if I Let agree me with. Get straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care how I, easy it is for themselves. I don't know where you're getting your information. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop that there. This people game is like, I think, like a, uh, an change, hour or two long. If you guys want another episode, let me know. It's really interesting to answer these questions and uh, consumers. to know With you're still talking. Are you still high. talking? Yeah, it was kind of interesting. Some of the things they said were a little sus, and I don't know what they were getting on about, but uh, I liked answering the moral dilemma uh, questions because they're really interesting. There's, like, almost no right or wrong answer on some of them. I, some of them, I feel like they're common sense, but who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.